transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS, it's FDA approved for clinical depression. What it is, it's essentially a magnet that is placed over the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex of the brain. It's thought that with the right amount of magnetic force for a frequent enough amount of time, that'll help to treat depression. Like it'll excite the neurotransmitters in the brain that treats depression. So if someone does not want to do therapy or be on antidepressant medications and they're feeling depressed, this could be the best way to go. Medicare will pay for this treatment and most insurances will cover it as well, but they may require several trials of other antidepressant medications or other therapy options before they agree to pay for this device. It can cost up to a few hundred dollars a treatment and someone who gets this type of treatment typically needs to come to the clinic like four to five times a week for anywhere between like three to six weeks long. So they have to really invest a lot of their time and effort to get this treatment. The treatments itself can be as short as three minutes to as long as 20 minutes at a time. And when you think of it, if you go to a place frequently enough where people greet you, sit you in a chair, see if you're okay, everything like that, that might help just to boost your mood as well. So when you do that so many times, I wonder if that could be like, you know, like psychoanalysis or some a form of therapy that will help someone's mood. Nevertheless, it is approved by the FDA. Uh, it can be quite helpful. The main concerns for this treatment is if there's any magnetic or metal device in the head or neck area, you probably got to be careful because you're setting a magnet there. So probably not indicating those cases. If someone has a history of a brain surgery or any brain tumors, uh, strokes, things like that, predisposition to seizures, maybe not the ideal choice. Uh, it is commonly used for clinical depression. There are also some variations of TMS treatment that can be helpful for OCD and obsessive compulsive disorder. It's also being studied for other conditions like post-traumatic stress disorder uh, and chronic pain syndromes, but at this point in time, it's not FDA approved for that. So what's also a plus about this sort of treatment compared to other forms for depression like electroconvulsive therapy is that TMS does not require someone to be under anesthesia, doesn't require them to have their muscles paralyzed uh, like ECT would. So this is really a pretty safe, easy hospital procedure. Uh, the main caution you do have to worry about is if a seizure happens, if a seizure did happen, you just call 911, bring them to emergency department, have them assess. Uh, but otherwise, the, the seizure is not very common, and this is pretty safe uh, treatment for clinical depression.